<laughs> right, I might get a bit distracted while we're on this ride because I've got music on. I've got sat nav on because I'm going to be taking us to somewhere we've not been before for a little bike meet with some lads I know online that are friends of an old friend so I haven't met some of them either so but this is going to be my first longest ride out on the bike since fixing it up but yeah hopefully it will all be good I'm sure the engine's fine that's just a bit nerve-wracking after having to pull it apart put it back together again and all that sort of thing but hopefully it's perfectly fine until I move on from it eventually in the future so we'll get on a while, I won't talk too much, you won't see us for too too much for a little bit because we are going to be ending up on the dual carriageways just to get there quickly because we're running slightly late, we we're going to meet one of the lads at his but we're going to head straight to the meet so I don't think it's a bike meet as such, I think that's just a place where some lads in one of the groups I'm in like to go on a Wednesday night I think there's like a cafe and stuff I've never actually been there but it's by an old castle called Bear Castle I think it's just ruins there I've never actually been there I've probably passed it at times on the bike and cars and stuff but they're just going to sit there Don't want to get their golf hour dirty, do they? I only just realised that's a golf hour in front of us. You'll see more traffic out at the minute because the main roads have got lights on. That's why we're coming this way as well to avoid the traffic jams on the main road to get to the dual carriageways. <laughs> Nathan having a play with his bike behind. Hopefully he'll be alright because he's been having trouble starting his bike and stuff. I think it's just his battery going on its way out, but hopefully it'll hold up for tonight. <laughs> Why are you going so slow for the go for? <laughs> Maybe get a thinner car, mate. <laughs> Slowing us down. Part of this is 60 mile an hour limit as well. That's funny, isn't it? Slow ass in and go far. <laughs> Look at him, he's too scared to get close to a car, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, my um, speedo drive still doesn't work, and I did take the front spot cover off and give that a clean. and cleaned up their um, front sprocket nut which it used as part of to sense the speed we cleaned up the connectors and pushed the, the wires back in just to make sure they were fully in so they were connecting but it's still not working so i have no clue i might pull that apart and put that back together and see if that does something to otherwise it can't be anything else like i've said before in another video there's no um fuse for it I was just jealous that his car was slow. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got other things stopping us now. <laughs> Thank you. Well, at least we'll get some move on when we get to the main roads, and we'll see you once we get to the other end. <laughs> Someone's got some weed.
fish it that we have to come this way but it'll take us a bit longer going the other way and like I say we're running a bit late so I don't know how much traffic would be on the like, side roads and stuff so that might not be as good as it usually would be because obviously it's um, also the um, thingy time brain's not working today mate I'll tell you rush hour time as well so even going like the back roads way and all that, that then might be a bit too busy to enjoy and take even longer at least we're out on the bikes finally <laughs> probably out on the bike barely left Norwich yet though <laughs> little bubble and nothing around us now. Nathan back there, you can probably see him. Oh, they're all slowing down up ahead for some reason. Can't see anything behind him either. Car with all the traffic has slowed right down. I would tell you how far as we're going but I don't know. Not too far now, we're just past the five mile mark of the Yarmouth. Not too far ahead we'll get to the main first roundabout. Head away from the main front of Yarmouth over the suspension bridge. We shouldn't have too far to go to get to where this meat place is. Well, so I don't think it is actually a bike meet as such. So I've seen um, photos of them going there before, and it's usually just them lot as far as I'm aware. And you never know, it might become popular if they keep going. More and more people might catch on and go there. So yeah, this both all look like it's got some sort of um, cap or whatever. They've got like an outdoor dining area for what I've seen on the pictures. Probably a nice, cool, chill place to go and have a chat and a laugh and something to eat and drink. And then go off on your bike for a ride afterwards, especially in summer. I mean, the nights are drawing in a bit now, it's starting to get dark around 7 o'clock. It's a little bit annoying, but hey, I've got my headlight protectors still on my bike. I thought I might take them off. I think I might even fit in the back of this bike, so I thought I'll leave them on. <laughs> I may get lucky and still have a bit of light left on the way home. <laughs> no feet down yet. Hey. Apart from when I got the false neutral out here a little while ago. Look at that. Pretty cool. I so just parked up right here on the suspension bridge. Watch the sunset. It's not too far to where we're going now. As I'm not sure what way we've got to turn, I don't really want to filter. If I knew exactly where I was going, I probably would filter down here. Oh, fuck it. Let's get sun done. Let's take it easy, but. Oh shit. <laughs> I think we've got to turn around, mate. <laughs> I said turn left on Clay Road. I was like, oh, right. So I turned left. I think it's the next one. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> So 
my way, he's talking, I don't know if there's a train moving. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Can we get in it? Do we have to go round? <laughs> we have to go round, don't we? to get out on the bike it's gonna get dark so we need to just get a move on and get back it's nice to meet some people don't know any of those guys obviously I know Nathan who I'm with but don't know the other guys but as I said earlier if I remember I think I did I know some of them a couple of the lads that I've known for years are friends with them that's how I got to know those I still haven't even ridden with my mates who I knew from years back <laughs> but will do soon I'm not sure what I do. Let's <laughs> give it a little open up. I won't get too far ahead of them from that there. <laughs> I feel so quick. But anyway, as the GoPro probably won't be doing too well with this light. I shall leave it here. If I got a video out of it, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next video. <laughs> My speedo's magically started working. Fucking sweet. I thought that might do. I think it's something to do with the connector just needed sorting out a bit. I did clean it with some WD-40 and some ACF-50. That was probably still a little too wet for it to work properly. But getting a bit warm now, the engine has probably sorted out. 